promises that shall not fail. Amen. Cannot fail. When the howling storms of doubt and fear assail. By the living word of God, I shall prevail. Why? Because I'm standing on the promises of God. Amen. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father. We come with a heart full of praise and thanks today for all things which thou hast done, doing and have plans to do, your blessings, great and small, and then for the power of God, which is under salvation to all that believe. Thank you for Jesus, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, who came that we might live and not die, and grace enabling us to stand and withstand in this evil day. Father, we thank you for the season of Christmas, where we commemorate the birth of our Lord and Savior, the one who was born of a virgin for the sins of the world. Father, we thank you for this unspeakable gift of love that you have given unto us all, that as we go from day to day, we accept this gift through living the life in which he taught. So, Father, we pray that you will bless us and strengthen us, lead, guide, and direct us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray, and for his sake, we thank you. Together can we all say, amen. amen. Give an honor to God and to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the ministers of the gospel, to the deacons that are assembled, to the congregation and our this is from the land of the far west, California, yet. Amen. Blessed to have each and every one of you in our midst today and for the willingness to press onward. Thank God for the songs of Zion, <clears throat> the testimonies. This is how you gain strength in God, by the word of God and your testimony. You then develop power to be able to endure, encouraging you to stand on what God has promised you. He promised us eternal life. He promised us to never leave us. He promised that he will be with us in thick and thin. Not as the world give, has he given, but what he has to offer will carry you throughout this life and then into life eternal. What a blessing. Thank God for the scroll which reads obedience love, reverence, and respect. It is first being to God, then to leadership, and then to one another. We thank God for the plan of salvation, the man and the woman of God, Elder Lightfoot Solomon, this show, and his companion. Two beautiful people whom God fixed up with his word one day, sent them into the world, and they preached and taught the gospel. And we that believe and is baptized, we shall be saved. Thank God for saving me one day, for giving me the mind and design and determination to stand on the promises of God because they cannot fail. Amen. Thank God for the sparks from the anvil on page three of our programs today. <clears throat> The first one says, the body will see corruption regardless of the care you give it. So let's feed the soul that will live forever. Amen. People jog, they walk, they run, they exercise. You go past these 
gyms and whatnot and see them in there working out. Yes. Working out. <clears throat> and then they turn around and give that health of the body to the service of the devil. Not thinking that the soul is more important. But they think it's the body. The body going to see corruption. Amen. So feed the soul that will live forever. The second one says, if you don't die, Christ can't live. We get in the way, which eliminates Christ from being alive in our lives. So in order for Christ to live, we must first die. And what we're speaking about is in our attitudes, our likes, our dislikes, our misconceptions, these things which is of us must die. And when we die in those things and we feed the soul with the word of God, we then become alive in Christ. What a plan. The third one says the sweetest walk one ever took was with the Lord. Amen. The sweetest walk one ever took is with the Lord. Amen. And on the back of your program, it says, as the world has entered the season of Christmas, many are doing so without the true meaning, which is disappointing to God. And to many who understand the purpose and the spirit of Christmas, the purpose and the spirit of Christmas, God gave the world came, God who created the world, excuse me, gave unto us his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever continuously to believe in him might not die but live eternally with him apart from this sinful world. What love. What love. And we think about the spirit of Christmas and how that it has become so commercialized today. Today we want to speak to you about the spirit of Christmas that you might have a clearer understanding that it is not the giving of gifts, nor the value that you put on those gifts. But it is the gift of God, which is eternal life. I thank God for saving me and for giving me the mind, the desire, the determination to press on war. Thank you for God for Blessing us to all be alive and well today. Thank you for a wife of 40 plus years. Thank him for the children that is born of this holy wedlock. Amen. As Sister Tara was being thankful for the different ones coming out for Anthony's birthday on Friday. And she was thanking God for the parents. Because if it were not for this union, she would not have her beautiful, wonderful yeah. husband, yeah. as she said. And so God has a plan, church, and that plan is holy, and he wants every one of us to live holy here, that we might enjoy holiness there. 
Amen. I like that. He wants us to live holy here that we might enjoy holiness there. You see, people don't understand, but an alcoholic is going to be disappointed when he gets to heaven, if he gets there, because it ain't going to be no alcohol there. Huh? A whoremonger is going to be disappointed if he were to get to heaven, because there's going to be no whores there. Amen. People of this nature, this physical body will be totally disappointed because none of these things is going to be there. Amen. And so God wants us to practice now how we are to live, that when we get there, what a day of rejoicing it will be. Because he said all former things are going to be passed away. Behold, all things will become new. And if you are accustomed to certain things and you get to certain places and you don't receive, it's just like people are accustomed to the spirit of Olita, the company that operates with integrity. And we've had letters come back to us because companies that we've gotten to do the transportation for them have come back and said, this is not what we are accustomed to. And we just were not happy. So if you are enjoying the worldly activities here, just know that you will not be happy there. Because it's going to be a totally new existence. Amen. I thank God for blessing me to be in the number. Amen. To be saved and then sanctified and then kept by, watch this now, the power of the almighty God. Thank God for each and every one of you and for God blessing you to be alive, to be well, and then to have a, a part, an opportunity to feast from the fountain that never runs dry. It's a blessing to be in an institution of higher learning whereby we gather information that we might do exactly as the spark says, feed the soul, amen? The soul is very important. And when you go through life with the appetite for the soul, he that hunger and thirst after righteousness, God says, they shall be filled, amen? So we thank God indeed. Brother, if you will, congregation, turn with me to the book of St. Matthews. We want to speak to you about the spirit of Christmas. A misconception has been pushed out. You know, this world is changing, you know. It is now acceptable throughout the world and even in some churches, the spirit of homosexuality, same-sex marriage, but that's not what it was from the beginning. Amen? All right. There are so many customs that are being adapted today that is not of the foundation. Amen. When we look at the forefathers and how that they set up the structure of America and the Constitution 
which today is under attack, because man does not like the fact that God is in it. Mm -hmm. All right. And more and more today, God is being pushed to the back and out of people's lives. The church, we want to encourage you today to put Christ at the forefront. Yes. Amen. Amen. The spirit of Christmas, the word T-H-E today is defined and used to indicate uniqueness, meaning one of a kind. When you say one of a kind, there was only one begotten son mm -hmm. who was given for the souls of mankind. Amen. Who right. is equipped to feed the soul. The word spirit is used and it is described as the predominant mood of an occasion or a period. You see, Christmas today begins right after Thanksgiving. All right. <clears throat> Black Friday. Mm. Amen. There they come. And they take off. Running and stomping and stampeding. Yes, look That's out. That's not the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> it's the spirit that man has instituted to replace God. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. You see, love does not hurt. That's love true. does not harm. Love does not destroy. <clears throat> it so encourages. True. It mm -hmm. fortifies, it builds up. Amen. Amen. So the spirit, meaning the predominant mood of an occasion or a period. The word of the spirit of Christmas. The word of is caused by. The spirit which is caused by and because of this season or this period. Christmas is the time or season of commemorating, watch this now, the birth of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you can't tell me Black Friday <clears throat> commemorates the birth of Christ. <laughs> Amen. All right. It is of the world. Amen. And there's nothing wrong with purchasing and buying gifts, but do it for the right reason. Mm -hmm. Amen. God right. did it for the right reason. And there is no gift that can surpass God's gift. Yes. Amen. How we doing, church? Amen. So listen, in the book of St. Matthew, the 18th chapter, I mean the first chapter, in the beginning of the 18th verse, to clear up some misfits that you may totally understand the purpose and the reason for Christmas mm -hmm. that we are commemorating. We're thinking on, we're dwelling on, we're talking about. You see all of these flowers and signs and lights. It's for Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. To those that believe in him. Yeah. yeah. But there are for other things and other reasons for those that don't believe in him. Amen. Now the 18th verse says what? Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. Now, if you had a misconception, we want to clear it up today. Because the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. Mm -hmm. 
not because of the way that you might have imagined it was. Yeah, all right. But it is according to how God, who started the program, mm -hmm. has said for it to be. That's it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Listen. When as his mother Mary was When as his mother Mary was what? Was his spouse. Was a spouse, meaning that she was engaged to Joseph before they came together, she was what? Found with child. She was found with child, meaning she was pregnant. Yes. With child, read. Of the Holy Ghost. And it was of the Holy Ghost. All right. Don't be misconceived. Yeah. In thinking that Jesus was born of fornication. All right. Amen. Yes. Because God don't work that way. God is holy. God is just, he is upright, and he can't persuade you to be upright if he's not upright. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now listen, read. Then Joseph, her husband. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away how? Privately. Privately. He was going to do it on a quiet side. All right. Amen. But what? But while he thought on these things. But while he thought on, you know how we meditate. Mm -hmm. We see certain things and we sit back and we give it some thought. Mm -hmm. Amen. And while he was thinking. Yeah. <clears throat> minded to put her away privately. Mm -hmm. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream. Saying what? Joseph. Joseph, what? Thou son of David. Thou son of David. You see, he called him by his name first and then told him exactly who you are. Yes. So it wouldn't be no misconception. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of times people come to you and they say, thus and thus so. You say, well, how do you know? Because you are of. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah. Thou son of David, what? Fear not. Fear not to take unto thee, what? Mary thy wife. Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is what? Is of the Holy Ghost. Man did not have anything to do with hmm. this. All right. Tell it. It's hmm. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it is. God's got a plan. Yes. And his plan is a holy plan. Yes. Amen. Listen, read. And she shall bring forth a son. And she, this woman whom you are contemplating about putting aside, that is pregnant with what you may have been told by Satan that another man was mm. there prior mm. to you getting there. Come on. That's it. But I want to clear this up. Mm. That that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, That's and what? It. And she shall bring forth a son. And this woman shall bring forth a son. Yes. And this son shall be called Jesus. Jesus. All right. Yes. <laughs> you know, God laying the plan out for Joseph. Amen. Yeah. yeah. He didn't just tell him one thing and not give him the whole plan, but he That's gave it. him the whole plan. That's it. His name shall be called Jesus, for he shall what? Save his people from their sins. Amen. Amen. That's the spirit. Yes. yes. This is the reason why we commemorate. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not the shopping, not the in and out of the malls. Yes, come on. <clears throat> but it's all about Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Yes. Who came that we might have life. Amen. There's a song that said, I, I didn't know how to live until I met the Lord. That's I it. never knew That's peace true. until I met the Lord. Mm. I That's never true. really had until I met the Lord. The yes. sweetest walk. Mm. One ever took was with, with the, the Lord. Lord. 
Yes. Amen. You think it was Brother Brian. Mm, come on. But now. it ain't Brother Brian. That's it. Jesus. It's Jesus. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Tell Sister it. was testifying about how the events took place. It wasn't her relationship with Brother Matt. Jesus. Brother Matt can't work like that. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. You see, he's always cultivating. That's it. Cleaning out the misfits. Mm -hmm. That you might have a clearer understanding of what is that you might grow in grace. Yes. So you can't grow in grace with a lot of confusion. That's it. A lot of misconceptions. Mm -hmm. You got to come to a clear understanding of what is. Yeah. And the reason that That's Christ it. came. Read. Now all this was done. Now all this was done that what? That it might be fulfilled. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord. Of the, of Lord. the Lord. By the prophet saying, read. Behold, Behold a virgin. Behold a what? A virgin. Well, you know man can't understand that. All right. See, because his carnal mind. That's it will not That's allow it. him That's to it. conceive. Yeah. Ain't no virgin mm -hmm. gonna conceive. Yeah, got to elevate. Well, see, God's got a plan. Mm -hmm. And God's plan always supersedes everything else that man has even thought of. Yes, so true. You can't comprehend it in the carnal state of mind. That's it. Because That's you're it. looking at the physical existence, but God's got a spiritual mm. plan, church. Mm. Mm. Yes. That's it. And he is interested in your soul. Yes. And so he has to do things in the spiritual sense that you might be redeemed spiritually. All Amen. right. I like that. Mm-hmm. Listen, read. Behold, a Behold, virgin. A virgin shall conceive and what? Shall be, shall be with, with child, child and what? And shall bring forth and a son. And shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is interpreted is God what? with us. Amen. Amen. So when you accept Christ. Yes. It's just like Cameron Newton when he received the Heisman. Yeah. On yesterday, his first thanks was to God. Amen. What a blessing. Who gave him the ability. Yeah. See, whenever you include God into the plan first. That's it. That's it. He has always exceeded. Mm -hmm. And I look at that young man. I said, that's, that's, that's a future there. Mm-hmm. Whenever you include God and give him the thanks. Yes, sir. Because it is by him, yes. through him, mm -hmm. because of him mm -hmm. that we are alive today. Yes, sir. And to yes, each sir. and every one of us who give God the praise. Yes, sir. Will honor, always be honored by him. Amen. Mm -hmm. How are we doing, church? Amen. 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 Listen. God with us. And Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and what? And knew her not. Until? Till she had brought forth her firstborn son. And what? And he called and his name. And he called. Yes. Remember the angel said, and thou shalt call. That's it. And he, he called. called him what? His name. Read. Jesus. Jesus. St. John, let's step along here. First chapter, because <clears throat> I know you're, you're, you're wondering, how can a virgin conceive? <clears throat> it's of the Holy Ghost. Now, <clears throat> here's how God works. In the beginning, God did what created heaven and earth. The Spirit of the Lord moved upon mm -hmm. the face of the deep. Mm. See, it was nothing but water out there, and it was dark. Mm. And the first thing God did was he turned the light on. Mm, all right. <laughs> Before he began his creating yeah. of heaven and earth and man on earth, all right. he turned the light on. Yes, 
Let there be light. Amen. And when the Spirit of the Lord was moving upon the face of the deep, mm. it was void and empty, nothing but water out there mm. and mm. darkness. And God said, let, let there, there be, be light. light. Yes. And Boom. there was light. Mm. What power. And then God said, let the dry land appear. And mm. it was so. What happened was he parted the water. Mm. Yes. And the dry land appeared. Mm -hmm. Then he oh, went great. through the creation. Amen. God Amen. created the heavens and God created the earth. Mm. God created the animals and he created all of the things that dwell here in the waters as well as. Mm -hmm. And he created man. Mm. Amen. Yes. Thank you. What a plan. Yes. So listen in the St. John, the first chapter, 14th verse. Listen to this. And the word was made flesh. So now, in all of those that are struggling with mm -hmm. the facts, amen. Yeah. amen, all right, struggling with the facts, the fact that a virgin conceived, because see, we are carnal-minded, we are of the flesh, and the flesh cannot conceive yeah. because it yeah. is fleshly. That's it. And the mm -hmm. first estate of every man is of the earth. That's it. But when the power of God enters your life, your eyes will come open yes. to the reality of truth. Mm -hmm. Now, the word was what? Made flesh. It was made flesh. And that word is spelled with a capital, capital. W. That's it. Why? Because in the beginning was the word. Mm -hmm. And there was nothing that was created that did create was not created but by the word. God said, mm -hmm. let there be light. There was. Light mm. came into existence. Mm. So the word created things. So God took this word, he said, and the word was made what? Flesh. Flesh. Mm-hmm. And he put his word in the womb of a virgin mm. named Mary. And what? And dwelt among us. And this word that was made flesh, John said, dwelt among us. Mm. And what? Yes. And we beheld his glory. And we beheld his glory as what? The glory as of as the, the only. the glory as of the only begotten God. of the Father. What? Full of grace and truth. Ah. John was testified. Yes. Yes. Amen. Full of truth. You know, sister was testifying of how that she was thinking I could receive some type of repercussion from my supervisor. Mm -hmm. Grace and truth. Yes. The supervisor apologizing to her. All right. Grace and truth. truth. Full of, full of it. Full of it. Amen. <laughs> full of it. Yeah. Grace and truth. Listen. <clears throat> In Titus, the second chapter. Stepping along. <clears throat> Paul came along afterwards. See, Paul was afterwards. He was not during the time of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But he came along afterwards. And here he is afterwards giving his account of what yes. is. Yes. <clears throat> Second chapter, the 11th, the, uh, 11th verse beginning says what? For the grace, For the grace of God. Of God. That, that what? That bringeth salvation. That does what? That bringeth salvation. Now, John said, full of grace full of and grace. truth. Yes. Paul afterwards come along and he said, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation. Mm -hmm. Done what? Hath appeared. Hath appeared unto who? All men. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. You see, it's appearing to all because God is not going to allow no one mm -hmm. to appear at the judgment seat and That's say, it. I didn't know. That's it. That's it. Amen. Amen. See, and God does wonderful yes. things that, you know, it catches people's attention. Something magnificent. Yes. Catches mm -hmm. people's attention. People marvel at magnificence. Mm -hmm. Amen. It, it's striking. Yes, awestruck. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you walk into the city of New York and the lights is all over the place, it's striking. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful city to behold at night. It is. Yeah. Mm hmm. But it's of the earth. <clears throat> Amen. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men. And what is it teaching us? Teaching us that denying ungodliness. Teaching us that we first of all must deny ungodliness. Yes. Thank you. And what? And worldly lust. And the lust that is in the world. This grace is teaching us this, church. All right. Jesus came to save us. This is the spirit of Christmas. That's it. <clears throat> Salvation. We commemorate. We think back on how the Lord saved me. Yes. And you know what? You want to share. It's just mm -hmm. like Lay's potato chips. I bet you can't eat one. Yeah. Have Amen. more. You eat one, you want more. Mm -hmm. Amen. Have some. They say Coca-Cola is the real thing, and it's mixed with water. <laughs> but Jesus is the real deal. All right. He's the real reason for all of this. <clears throat> Amen. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should what? Live soberly. Live what? Soberly. Soberly. And you ain't never yet seen a wise drunk man. All right. Huh? Hmm. When you're drunk, you ain't sober. That's it. And when you're not sober, you do unbecoming mm -hmm. things. Foolishly. What? <clears throat> Foolishly. Foolishness, Brother Keith mm -hmm. said. Denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live what? Soberly. Soberly. Watch this now. Read. Righteously. Righteously. Read. And godly. And godly where? In this present world. Yes. <laughs> yes. So true. You want to read That's that again? Mm -hmm. You want to read that again? Teaching us that denying ungodliness, ungodliness and worldly lust, and worldly lust, we should live soberly. We should, we should live what? Soberly. Soberly, righteously, and godly where? In this present right world. Right now. That's it. Not later. Mm -hmm. Not when you get to heaven. Yeah. Because this is the practice grounds here. Mm -hmm. That's it. When they talk about you. You don't get out on a football field and play the game and never practice. That's it. You got to practice. Yeah. And right now is practice time. Mm-hmm. We practice soberly, righteously, godly, godly. right now. That's right it. now. That's it. Right now. Because if you don't practice here, you will not enjoy there. Yes. Amen. How are we doing, church? Amen. Yes. Thank you. And doing what? Looking for that blessed hope. And then we're looking for that blessed hope. That blessed hope. See, everybody wants to go to heaven. Yes. That's all they talk about is going to heaven. But you know what? Nobody wants to live. <clears throat> Come on now. No, that's too hard. <laughs> I can't live godly. Come on. I can't live soberly, especially this time of the year, because I got to have my little sherry every mm, now and then. All right. <laughs> Come on now. 
present world. Present, present, present world. Right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. How we doing, church? Yes. Pressing on. You say, bro, curve is tight. <laughs> tight, but it's right. Tight, but it's right. Amen. See, this is an institution of higher learning. Yeah. Amen. This is not elementary school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, straight and narrow. This is further from graduation school. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is higher than your doctrine, yes. your masters, all mm -hmm. of this. See, this is the step that'll get you on up. And when you get to heaven, you'll be able to sing and shout. That's it. You'll be able yes. to say how I made it over. Yes. Hey, man, I look back and sometimes I wonder how I mm. made it over. Mm. Come on. But thank God for Jesus. Yes. Yes. Good shepherd. Because he paved the way. Yes. Hey, man. Yes. Read. Looking for that blessed hope. Looking for that blessed hope and what? And the glorious. And the glorious appearing of who? The great God. The great God and what? And our Savior. And our Savior. Jesus. Do you not know yes. you're not going to be happy if you see Jesus coming and you got a fifth of liquor in your hand? <laughs> All right. Put it down. Put it down. Are you laying in the bed with a woman that's not your wife? Come on now. Get on out. And Jesus cracks the sky. You ain't going to be happy. No, no. Absolutely not. Because he's coming as a lightning shine from the east to the west. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Come and go. When you realize it, it's over. That's it. And guess what? You left behind. Ain't so we have want time. to prepare now. That's it. This present world. Today. Yes. That you might be prepared for tomorrow. That's it. Amen. How we doing, church? Yes. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who did what? Who gave himself. Who for gave us. himself on the cross of Calvary, church. He died that we might have life. Yes. He came for that purpose. He tried to get away from it. He mm. tried to go into the garden mm. and he prayed vehemently, mm. Lord, remove this cup yes. because the flesh does not want to die. That's it. Yes. Mm. If you don't die, Christ cannot live. That's it. You got to give it up, church. That's it. That's it. Give it up, turn it loose, count it as being, as Paul says, dung, that I might win Christ. That's it. He'll you carry can't the win Christ with a lot of isms and schisms and misfits. That's it. You got to give it all up. Yes. He'll carry the load. <sighs> Who himself gave himself. Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Savior, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from what? All iniquity. All lying and stealing and yes. cheating and yes. fornicating yes. and adultery. Yes. Hatred and yes. backbiting and maliciousness. Yes. Homosexuality. Yes. Same-sex marriage. Yes. That he might what? That he, he might redeem us. That he might redeem, meaning pull you out of. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, you once was. See, you wasn't born that way. Right. You were either born a male or you were either born a female. That's One it. or the other. That's it. You were not born that way. You adapted that attitude That's after it. you got grown a bit. That's it. Hmm. Come See, on, I, they, they come into these different personalities. Amen. You get into these different personalities at a certain time. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. Read. Redeeming us from all iniquity. Redeeming us from all iniquity and what? And purifying unto himself. And purifying unto himself a what? Peculiar a people. A peculiar People. God is yes. looking for a people that when they get to heaven will be able to sing and shout. That's it. Sing and shout. And what else? 
Yes, peculiar people, zealous of zealous good works. Zealous of what? Good works. Yes. And what? These things speak and exhort. Speak and exalt. And rebuke. And with rebuke with all what? Authority. All authority. Don't let no man despise thee. Everybody believe they heard the truth today. Yes. The Lord said you shall what? Know the truth. And the truth shall what? Set, Set you free. free. Free from what? Whatever's holding you captive against your will. So may God bless you, church. Heaven ever smile upon you. Let us continue to hold on. Hold out, look up, but don't give up. Why? Because there is a happier day ahead. Hallelujah. When all the saints of God shall say, what? Praise the Lord. Keep me in your prayers that I may ever stand firm and be true. Be all that God will have me to be. Turn the service back over to the deacon.